Hey, what's up guys? It has been a year since I bought these boots. So today I figured I would give you a review of what I think about these after a year and what I'm still looking for in a work boot. At the end of this video, I'll share with you my workwear checklist. It's filled full of everything I like and what I wear on the daily. If you haven't already, make sure and subscribe and ding that bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. If you're new here, I'm Austin Ross, a pipeline welder and an accidental YouTuber. We started this channel as a spinoff to my wife and I's channel, Austin and Kayla, after we started getting questions about the pipeline welding, rig welding, and stuff like that. So those are the type of videos you can find here on this channel. So I've had these boots for roughly a year now. I did an unboxing of these boots. We'll put a link in the description of that video if you haven't seen it. Overall, I like I like the boots. One thing that I mentioned in the unboxing whenever I first tried them on was I felt like my heel was always picking up whenever I was walking. That kind of went away. It just took a while to get broke in, I guess. I still notice it, but it's not near as noticeable. Luckily, the, the lace-up helps with that. It took a while to, to break them in. That's one thing that I noticed. I think some of that is because it's steel toe and it's a smaller boot. This is only like, I think an eight and a half size boot. Yeah, eight and a half. So I think that's part of the reason. Steel toe and the type of sole it is. I mean, see, even after a year, still kind of like stiff. I mean, they're still way broke in, but it took a while to get them broke in. But they're comfortable overall and they get more comfortable every day. One thing I noticed about them is these wedge soles are slick in the mud and the rain so like you got to be careful whenever you're climbing up on the back of a truck or anything whenever it's slick during the winter time or even just wet this sole it's, it doesn't grip much so that's one thing i noticed that could be unsafe about these boots but the good thing about that seeing as how they're slick you don't track much mud you know i don't it ain't gonna hold very much mud, so that's that's good. Another thing that I think I'm gonna like about them is I think I'm gonna get at least two years total, if not way more out of them. I mean, like I said, they're still breaking in. I see myself getting at least another year out of these, if not longer, so that's definitely a plus. Boots I've had in the past last me a year, roughly, and the soles are coming apart and, and everything, so I mean, this is definitely a plus to be able to have a work boot that's gonna last that long. Question of the day, have you ever owned a pair of thorough good work boots and did you like them? Also, if you don't mind to help me and everybody watching, let us know in the comments what kind of work boot you prefer. I'm always looking for different kinds and I'm sure others that are watching would love to hear suggestions. These boots here are a touch heavier than I prefer. I think if I was to get a pair that were non-steel toe, that might, that might help with that. They did fit as expected, so that's good, and made in America, America. I got the eight inch tops and I'm happy with, with that. I like, that's about the perfect length for me personally. I mean, look how genuine that leather is. Oh, dang, I'm love it. I think they're totally worth the $200. I think they're over $200. I think they're totally worth it considering the life that I'm gonna get out of them. You spend $100, give or take, on other work boots, 140, 150, and you might get a year out of them depending on how hard you work, I guess. Maybe I don't work hard enough, I don't know. But the fact that I'm gonna get over two years, I'm thinking, out of these, well worth the $200, over $200, in my opinion. The next pair I get, I'm probably going to try non-steel toe for the sake of more comfortability is what I'm hoping since my foot's so small, it don't help with that with that right there. So I think the non-steel toe will be that much more comfortable. I wanna try a pair of slip-ons and I'm also going to look into, I think they make a pretty positive, they make a different sole. I don't wanna get the wedge sole, I wanna try the, the other style of sole. You can get on their website and look the different styles they have, but the other main style of sole they have is the non-wedge. It has a little bit different pattern too. I'm, I'm hoping that it's less dangerous during the wet months. That's what I would change if I was gonna get a different pair. And like I said, I'm probably gonna try the slip-on pair. I know several guys that have the slip-on pair. I've tried one of my buddies on before. Super comfortable. The only thing I don't like about slip-ons is the fact that they get loose. One tip for those of you that may not be familiar with slip-on boots, whenever you do go to get a pair, make sure you get them somewhat snug and you don't want them to be too snug and like cramming your toes, but you want them to be snug around your foot like this way because they're just going to stretch out. Slip-on boots stretch out 
and, and that's one reason why I like the lace-up because you don't have to worry about them getting sloppy on your foot. But I do like to slip on for the ease of putting them on and the time that it saves in the morning. Not that it's that much time, but it is nice to have a slip-on pair just to throw on and run out the door. And the question that you've all been waiting for, would I repurchase? I've kind of already answered this, would I repurchase? I definitely would, but as far as this exact pair, I want to give it more time. That's one of the reasons I put off making this video is because I wanted to give it as much time as, as possible. You know, I could do another review in two years probably of these boots, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out there, how I was liking them, because I get questions quite often uh, people asking me how I like them. So good overall boot for sure and I would repurchase. But like I said, I would change the sole. For a work boot, I'll probably just get a different sole but this exact boot because nowadays you need steel toe on jobs. I didn't just roll my eyes. You need steel toe nowadays. Probably gonna try the wedge sole steel toe just like this. I'll probably end up getting another pair that's non-steel toe with the wedge sole? No, probably non-steel toe with the other type of sole, not the wedge sole. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Like the boots overall. If I was to rate this boot from a one to 10, one being the worst, I would rate it a nine. It gets a nine because overall it's a very good boot. Just a little bit heavier than I like and too slick down here. Other than that, pretty baggy, I'm comfortable. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you are looking for a list of tested workwear, I've got one just for you. Just click the top link in the description, drop me your name and email, and I'll send it over to you. It's got everything from everyday workwear, winter workwear, and your PPE. PPE, personal protective equipment. Personal protective equipment. It's totally free, so again, click the top link in the description if you want my workwear checklist. Before you go, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Answer the question of the day. Have you ever owned a pair of Thoroughgood work boots? And what work boot do you suggest? Subscribe for more videos like this one, and if you wanna get notified when I post a new video, make sure and ring that bell. My advice for the week is Take care of your feet. Whenever I was diagnosed with diabetes about three years ago, I learned how important it was to take care of your feet and how important it was to stay on top of that. But even if you're not diabetic, if you have feet to stand on, take care of them. Don't take them for granted. Your feet do a lot of work for you. Let them know you love them. If you do hard laboring jobs like we do, you gotta make sure you're keeping them dry, staying in good shoes, and keeping your feet healthy. Remember, learn something every day, and we will see you next Friday. Thanks for watching.